Hi, my name is John, and today we're going to create a simple part in SolidWorks. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is go to create a new document, and select part, and hit OK. Now we have entered model space. So what we need to do is create a sketch. So we're going to come up to here, say create sketch, and our sketch is going to be on the top plane. So what we want to do is create a rectangle on our top plane for a base. So we're going to select rectangle, select the origin, and create a rough rectangle. SolidWorks is telling us that our part does not have any dimensions by it showing us some blue lines. So what we need to do is dimension our part. So come up here to Smart Dimension and select the edges that you want to dimension. So I'm going to call this 3 inches and I'm going to call this 6 inches. Hit OK. And let's go to Features and extrude this part up. So the height of this part is going to be a quarter inch. Select OK. Now we need to create another sketch. So we're going to come to Sketch, Create Sketch, and we're going to select the plane that we want to work on. So right now, that's the top surface of this feature. So we're going to create a post. So I want to create a rectangle and confine it to right here, and I want to confine it to this edge. So now all we have to do is specify the width, and I want that to be a quarter inch as well. So let's go to Smart Dimension, select that corner, and call it a quarter inch. So 0.25. OK. Let's go to Features, Extrude. Extrude that up three inches and hit OK. Now I want to create a sketch on this plane. So I'm going to go to Sketch, Create Sketch, and select that plane. And I also want to look, look at the part better. So I'm going to go to uh, View or Orientation and say Normal 2. So I want to round off this post. So I'm going to say circle with the radius, select the center, select the end of the edge, and hit OK. So I don't want this bottom portion of the circle. So what I'm going to do is use a command called convert entities. So I'm going to select this edge and say convert entities. What that does is it brings features uh, edges from other features and parts from other features onto the sketch that you're working on now. So now we can trim out that bottom portion of the circle. Next we're going to extrude this up to the next surface. So we're going to say features, extrude, reverse, instead of blind, up to surface, and select this surface. Hit OK. And now I want to put these features on the opposite side. So we want to mirror it. To do that, we need to create a plane in the middle of this side and this side to mirror about. So how we do that is we go to Reference Geometry, select Plane, and we select this plane and this plane, creating a plane in the middle. So select OK. And we want to use the command called mirror, which is right here. And features the mirror is what do we want to mirror. So we're going to come into our tree. And I want to mirror this. And I want to mirror this. Select OK. And now we have a pretty good uh, model. I want to add one more feature though. So I want to say sketch, create new sketch, and I want to create a sketch on this uh, plane. Let's go to normal too. And I want to create a circle in the middle of this arc. Smart dimension. And let's call it an inch. I want this circle to go completely through my part. So when I go to Features, Extrude, 
Actually, I want to do an extrude cut. And instead of line, we're going to say through all. And say OK. This is the model that we're going to be completed with today. Uh, tune in for our next videos. We appreciate your view. Thank you.